Hey everyone, Paul here, PZ Guitar. Let's continue our journey with finger style for beginners. Okay, so this is now session number three, and we have another four exercises slated for today. So let's go. Hey everyone, Paul here, PZ Guitar your virtual practice partner, and we're going to be, and we're still practicing our finger style. I mean, a lot of people ask me, you know, uh, finger style, you know, what do you got? And so I, I'm putting together this, uh, this series. And on top of that, I've been given permission by Denny Zager to go out and teach, um, you know, the, the, the Zager guitar method, instruction method. I'm very, very proud of the fact that he, he's allowing me to do that. I mean, that all came about when uh, Zager offered me a guitar to give away on the channel. And that guitar now is, is now over. That, that giveaway is now over. Congratulations to that winner. Um, at the time I'm filming this, this is just before the contest was, was over. But it's going to be aired after. So that's the reason why I'm not being able to say the name. Because I don't know the name just yet. Entries are still coming in. Hey, so congratulations to the winner. Um, but if you missed out on that or you're still interested in Zager guitars, I mean, this is my wonderful Zager 900. This is their top of the line, but they make four different levels of guitars. I have a, uh, an affiliate link in uh, the description that Zager gave me. Uh, so peek and poke around Zager guitars. I mean, they make four different levels, plus a parlor and a travel size. They are just phenomenal. Money back guarantee. Well, you you, you know the whole you know the whole deal, um, or if not, go on the go on the uh, the like uh, the website for, through my link and peek and poke around, and it's really quite quite amazing. Uh, the guitars are just stunning, especially now that I put the the pick guard on. I just love the look. Just love the look. It's great. Anyway, let's get to the lesson here today. So today we're going to introduce. Um, it's we're we're going to continue with the pinch. Where we, where we strike two different notes at the same time. But now we're gonna have a single note. So uh, our first uh, uh, exercise, exercise 21, is gonna be on the screen. And so uh, what we're gonna do is, and as a matter of fact, you know, we'll even, um, we'll even do a, a chord here. We'll even do a chord, we'll do a four finger G chord. Even though the exercise doesn't say that. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll do a four finger G, or maybe an E chord. We'll do a D chord. Why not? Now we'll do the G chord. We'll do the G chord. And so our first exercise is <coughs> we're going to be pinching between the, uh, the, the thumb on the low E and finger number two, your middle finger, on the high E string. And then we're going to drone on the single note, the G string. Okay, so let's let's uh, let's practice that. So again, this is you know two notes simultaneously followed by one, two and one, two and one, a pinch and then a drone on the G uh, on the G. Ready? One, two, three, four. Bunch more. Last one. Excellent. Give your finger a little bit of a break. And now <clears throat> it's going to be the same thing again. It's going to be the thumb and the um, Finger number two on the high E string, except we're going to start on the A string. So let's let's do an A minor chord as 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 our chord. Again, it's going to be th uh, these two strings and then the G. It's going to, it's going to look like. 
So let's go and now practice that. You ready? One, two, three. Excellent. Let's give our fingers a break again. So now let's combine for lesson for exercise 23, let's combine our thumb in an alternating bass. So it's going to be um, still, still, you know, uh, the high E and the low E and draw it on the G, but now go. So it's, it's basically we're combining exercise 21 and 22 together in exercise 23. Let's do our G chord. Ready? What, it's on the screen. Yeah, it's right there. I can see it. Uh, ready? One. <coughs> One, two, three, four. I think I might have done two E's in a row, two uh, pinches on the E. You know what? If you make a mistake, play through it. You know, if anything, you know, that's one of the things that I, I, I used to say as a tip, you know, on the strumming series, you know, make a mistake, play through it. It's already in the past. You know what? I think I, I'm pretty sure and I'll, I'm sure that when I edit it, uh, I will leave that, that, that mistake in. But um, it's just something that you know you need to. Uh, it's just something that you need to uh, up to play through, and you know mistakes happen. You know uh, mistakes. You know uh, is is soul. Man, have I got a lot of soul. Anyway, hey, today's lesson was a short one, but uh, you could augment it with your own homework, add different chords, and um, make it make it musical. Take it out of that drone. Take it out of that that exercise and turn it into music. You know, put a little swing into it, play with dynamics, play with, play with different chords, and um, experiment, you know, add your own pattern. Let me know if you come up with a pattern, okay? And so until then, hey, thanks for, thanks for watching. Hopefully if you found, um, you know, value in these lessons here, that you like and subscribe, <coughs> especially this, this, the subscribe area. I had terrible, it's so dry in the house, my throat is killing me. Um, but until then, you know what? Keep practicing. I'll see you soon. There's more to come. We're going to do some songs. We're going to do Love Me Tender, and we're going to do The Beatles' Blackbird. And it's, it's, this, it's, 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 it's this notion here, this pinch and single note. Sound familiar? We just, we just, we just learned it. 
different, you know, different strings, but we, the same technique, you know, it's, it's, it's really, it, we're le actually leading up to something. And then we got the fancy stuff up here. So we'll learn about that too in another session and we'll put them all together and Blackbird will be a, a, a really a bellwether song that will, once you learn it, man, you'll have it forever and you'll impress your friends. So keep practicing. I'll see you soon. Hey everyone, thanks for sticking around and practicing with me. Right over here somewhere is going to be a really good video that I recommend that you do next if you want to keep playing. Or if you really want to keep playing, down here is going to be a nice playlist that I recommend. So until then, you keep practicing and you keep playing, and I'll see you soon. How's that? Sounds like a plan.